What's up ladies and gents and welcome to week 66 of Retainer Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays. This week features clips that range from insane jukes to epic turnarounds, so take a seat because you won't want to miss a second of this Top 5 Plays. Coming in at our number 5 spot is Sheedy13 on Janna, and right from the start we see that she's alone to defend the tower when Fiddlesticks and Graves decides to dive in. She retreats backwards, shielding herself and using the tornado to kill the creeps faster, but it's no use as Fiddle's fears and starts to drain, and then Graves comes in and dealing huge damage, but she flashes backwards towards her tower, escaping the rage and drain while barely making it out alive. Graves flashes towards her so she shields and turns around, absorbing the damage from Fiddlesticks as she interrupts Drain with her tornado right before getting killed and escapes. Ari comes in to pick up the double in a 2 for 0 exchange play, thanks to Janna. Scoring in a 4th place for this week is Gangstas on Fiora, and right now things aren't looking too great as 4 enemy players approach the tower. All of a sudden the stun is landed and she's pulled in by Blitz taking huge damage but out of nowhere she starts her ult melting down the enemy players and picking up the immediate double shortly after the triple and then chasing down Blitzcrank for the very impressive turnaround quad. And for a number 3 spot for this week we have Schmackaloon on Karthus and he spotted the enemy team doing Baron so he decides to place the ward to see its health. As Baron gets closer to dying, he has a choice to make, and then all of a sudden, the enemy team tries to get on him, so he chooses to flash in with his e pop as he deals heavy AoE damage to all five players. Baron gets very low, and he manages to just barely steal it as the enemy jungler smited too early, and then Kennen arrives and stuns them all, helping Carlos clean up a bunch of kills. Despite dying, he walks away from this 1v5 with a quad, ace, and Baron buff for his whole team. Coming in at second place is Xenon Vector 927 on Nunu. Right now, him and his team are pushing the tower when the enemy Cho'Gath decides to push in, so they retreat. But then out of nowhere, an ash arrow comes flying in and Absolute Zero begins as we slow things down and you can see that four players are practically on top of Nunu and have little chance to escape and Cho'Gath could retreat, but he turns to try to silence the ult, but then Amumu pulls off a clutch ult to stop his silence and it holds everyone in place and well, the rest is history. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have fourths on Wukong, and right off the bat we see that he's being surrounded by the enemy team and things aren't looking too good for him. Riven and Janna catch up, but he stays still, completely juking out all three of them as he makes a speedy getaway back towards blue side. We fast forward it really quickly as he decides to run into the jungle, but out of nowhere the entire enemy team shows up and he jukes all five of them this time by staying completely still and then he eased to a minion, dodging the tornado and escaping. Realizing he can't escape Udyr's speed, he flashes through the wall and pops his W, duking the enemy team out for a third time as he runs towards his teammate. Thanks to Lulu and his ult, he manages to escape all 5 players and picks up a kill on his way out. Force may have just taken the spot as my favorite Druke of all time. If you agree, leave a comment down below, and if you disagree, then let me know which week and play is your favorite. I love them all, and it's so hard to narrow it down than just one. And for the bonus clip for this week, we have Rising on Urgot with a sick play at bottom lane. So Nunu and Urgot are waiting in the brush, and all of a sudden Urgot pops ghost and Absolute Zero is started, and right at the very edge of Nunu's ult, something magical happens. Before everyone says in the comment section below, I understand that this clip could easily be a number 4 or 5 in one of our episodes, but since you only get a prize for the number 1 spot, I figured I'd showcase this clip here in all of its epicness. Thanks everyone for watching, and thumbs up and favorite if you enjoyed any or all these plays, and don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know which juke is your favorite out of any of our 66 episodes. Take care and have a wonderful weekend.